In the Western Conference semifinals, the Los Angeles Lakers brought some of the NBA's best individual talent into town. The Lakers had won seven of their last eight against the Spurs, powered by Shaquille O'Neal. We had not had very much success against him. He's the guy that, uh, that had, frankly, just kicked our butt. They knew that to play against him, especially at the defensive end of the floor, that they were going to have to really cooperate with one another. From the first quarter of game one, the Spurs ganged up on the Lakers' one-man gang. Shaq wearing down, the Lakers went down with him. But the Spurs were just getting warmed up, unleashing the kind of total team effort that was becoming a hallmark of their success. I know what to expect. I know I can count on Avery to bring his game. I know I can count on Sean to bring his game. Mario's going to come in and give us good defense. And the guys coming off the bench, Malik and Jerome, are going to give us great energy. I think it's just the trust factor is just so high on this team, and we just believe in each other. The Spurs' team concept secured a victory in game one. But when game two was on the line, the team put its trust in one man. Down by one with seconds left, they gave Tim Duncan the ball. I was on the bench, and I told Tim, hey, you know, I said, I'm coming to you, big fella. He said, okay, I mean, I'll, I'll be ready. I'm going to make this one. The Spurs try to score a basket to win it. Looks down low. There's Tim. 11 seconds left. Backing it. Turn. Jump hook. Good. Tim Duncan popped the winning basket. It's a great feeling for uh, the team and a coach to have such confidence in you to, to give you the ball in those situations. Getting that one out of the way, our confidence just, just took off. For game three, the Spurs borrowed the best of games one and two, looking again to Duncan to put the Lakers down. Here's Avery Johnson running the break to Duncan. Look at that play. And finishing them off with the bench. This time, it was Jaron Jackson who delivered the decisive blow. Jackson takes the outside jumper. Good! The top player, David and Tim, can believe in the guy that's sitting on the bench, deep down in the bench. If he comes to the game, he can produce. And that's what a team play is all about. Out to Jackson, the three. Bang! Jaron Jackson in the clutch. That will take the air out of a team real quickly. After 22 points in game three, Jackson added 20 more in game four. Jaron Jackson raised his arms high as that ball went through the net. I was just so happy to be in that spotlight at that time. And, and on that particular floor, to be able to shine like that, it was just so fulfilling. The Spurs' shocking four-game sweep literally brought the house down in L.A. Game four would be the last ever played at the Great Western Forum. Jackson puts the Lakers away. And the San Antonio Spurs have swept aside the Los Angeles Lakers in the Western Conference semifinals. And they did it convincingly. The form is shut down. I feel great because the short... The form is shut down for the last 